My name is Ramiro Lobo. I'm a former advisor with the uh, UC Cooperative Extension in San Diego County. Today we're visiting uh, an irrigation trial on blueberries where we are looking at the effect of various irrigation levels on, the fruit, uh, on yield and fruit quality. Uh, as part of the trial, we have, today we have to visit uh, Manuel Jimenez who is going to demonstrate how to prune a, a one-year-old blueberry plant to make sure that we have a good, strong structure and, uh, and, uh, and a good productive plant for uh, many years. So Manuel, go ahead and uh, demonstrate how to prune this baby. I, I think you said the right thing, Ramiro, is that you want to uh, prune a plant so that you're forming it to have a, the capacity to, pr uh, to produce a, a nice shape plant that, that, that is going to have strong canes. And so what happens every year when we get to the end of harvest, that's probably the best time to harvest the plants because the growth of the plant basically is taking place from the point when you finish harvest to the time that you get into fall. So in the case of this plant, what I'm going to do is, uh, this one happens to have fruit, but normally what you do is you're removing the canes that had fruit to the point where you get to a nice vigorous cane. Okay. So for example, and we look at, at, at this limb here, you can see that. Could you mention also the, the, the specifics of the variety and uh, yes. the growth habits? Yes. Um, what variety is this? This is a Jewel. Jewel, yes, okay. Still the same variety. Okay, this is Jewel. And of course, Jewel is one of the varieties with that, uh, that is very vigorous as a, as a juvenile. And so what we want to do here, you know, it seems kind of uh, 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 drastic, but uh, here's the limb with all the, the, the fruit. And if you look back, uh, there are no new canes growing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut right here. You notice that we hit the fruited wood, and then we have two new canes there, and there'll be more that come from the bottom. So we're going to cut right there. And then we're going to do the same with all the other canes that have fruit. So that cane, you'll notice the shoots are right here, a little bit higher. We cut it there. Again, you'll notice here's the fruit on the, the fruit cluster, and there's two new uh, uh, shoots coming up. Cut those off. And then we continue doing that, removing all the fruit, cl fruit clusters to where you come with the first young uh, developing canes for next year. So here we go again. Going back, this cane happens to be lying very close to the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it further back because we don't want fruit to grow on the soil because first, uh, you know, it, uh, 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 it'll, be, uh, it'll get soiled. And then, of course, we want to keep the fruit off the ground. So see, now this cane, this cane is now erect, whereas earlier it was not. Here's another one that's laying on the ground. See, if you'll notice right here, uh, Ramiro, this cane is fully 90 degrees from the plant. Yep. It's laying on the ground, so we're going to cut it off. Right at the attachment. Right at the attachment. So we don't want any canes that are at that in that position, 90 degrees from the trunk. Again, this is going to be, turn out to be a really nice plant. So we've done this side of the plant. Now we'll jump to the other side. And again, we continue. Here's the the cluster and the new shoots that are coming from this plant, and. Earlier I said that, you know, uh, depending on the number of shoots that are coming, you can cut further back. So, for example, here are the first shoots that you come to off this cluster. But also you'll notice that there's probably about, about some really strong ones behind those. And so what I want is these to go up. And so I'm actually cutting these new shoots off because behind it we have really nice growth. And that's going to be very productive this following year. That also brings it closer to the center. Yes. Uh, again, here, Ramiro, there's another uh, limb. If, if this was a weak plant, I would consider cutting it right here and then leaving this small cane that's kind of erect. But on this plant, you, you know, you could choose to yeah. cut it off. But I'll, I'll go ahead and leave it there. Yes. Again, here's a cluster and the first nice, vigorous nugo cane. Again, following this cane back, remember what I said? This is at a weird angle here. so. Uh, I'm going to cut this right, right here. So I'm following this back. This is too low, 90 degrees. Cut it off. And what you can do, Ramiro, on this one in particular, it's still at a bad angle, but you can pinch this, and it'll put, it'll break bud right here and send a nice cane straight up. So basically, uh, and then you know any canes you have, small ones that are here, you can remove any fruit. But you know you can. That's sort of done. So. Come later this summer, you'll see that this plant is going to be extremely vigorous, and then you can decide if you want to further prune it or just leave the crop on this plant. But it's done.